Welcome back everybody to No Man's Sky. I'm an old guy gaming and we are going to continue our adventure here in the Euclid Galaxy. And uh, so basically the last place we left off is we had put down an overseer's station and so we are now um, in the neighboring system looking for an overseer to hire. And then we're going to continue uh, working on the base quest line, quest lines, and uh, trying to get our base going so that we have you know some of the more advanced equipment that we need to make some of the better uh, resources and so on and so forth okay so I think what I need to do is I need to switch over my quest uh, to that particular quest so let's go here expanding the base all right and then that little green marker is, oh, it's right over here. Okay. Potential Overseer Recruit. Hope you guys enjoy this video. If you do, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. And uh, let's get started here. All right. Hi, buddy. Merchant. Merchant Roof. R R We're going to call him Rufio. Merchant Rufio. Okay, here we go. Is it really you? Forgive me. I've been searching for such a long time. Contracted to aid you in this and every cycle. Don't worry. Everything was paid for a long time ago. It's all quite above board. Okay, if you say so. As the stranger speaks, a smell assaults me. A pheromone infesting my brain, giving me memories of places I never visited, of actions I never took. Okay, you're messing with my head, Rufio? Of myself in a mirror, aged and alone, of this geck cradling their fallen brethren, of a bargain made many years from now, a contract signed across the cosmos. The vision ends and the overseer remains. The Overseer promises to expand my base, allowing me to recruit other workers. They require a construction terminal to get started. Yeah, we've already done that. Okay. Um, I wonder what would happen if I declined it. We're not going to decline it, though. I'm just curious. There is something compelling about this geck. They shall feel at home in my home. All right. So I guess uh, use the space station to quickly turn your base. I guess uh, you will find your own ride back. <laughs> we'll assume that he will. Since I do only have one seat in my, my starship there. So, you know what? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just use the teleporter to go home. Because so it'll be a little bit faster. Plus, it'll save us a little bit on fuel as well. Woo! Okay, here we go. So we want to go to Toxer to Toxeter's Outpost. That's the name of my base. I need to change that name. The problem is every time I play the game, I'm in VR. And you can't type in VR. So you can't like change names of stuff while, while you're playing in VR, which really sucks. They need to come up with some kind of like an on-screen keyboard type of idea to allow you to do that. Well, and again, and that was as of about a week and a half ago, which was the last time I recorded. I don't know if they've come out with an update since. And I've been gone... Um, for a week on a business trip, so I just got back uh, a few days ago. And uh, there could have been an update since then, I don't know. I'm not sure. In fact, you know what? Let's, uh... We need to actually look at this archive anyway. Archive's available. So let's do that now. I think, yeah, our, our little buddy should be over there. Let's see what this has to say. Automated archive recovery in progress. Blip, 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 blip. Data recovered, 27%. New data available. Search archives. Search construction database. What did we learn? Exo te uh, technology data extracted. Downloading plans. Personal upgrade module synthesized from data scraps. Additional data available. Log data from pre something something something. Search archives. Entry 4925X follows. Whoa. What the hell? Did you, guys, <laughs> did you guys see that? He just like flew right out of the ground and went bloop. Weird. I glance back towards the wreck of my ship. Nothing more than a dot. Gzzit. Walking this plane for hours, yet the mountains seem no closer. Gzzit. I look up to the sky. Readable archive retrieval complete. Beginning defragmentation of next segment. So yeah, you basically... 
um, after a certain period of time goes by, you come to the base computer, it had read an archive, it learned, helps you learn something new, and then it goes and starts to decrypt another archive. So that's kind of what happens there. Okay, so we got a life support module B. That doesn't suck. Let's install the teleport receiver in your starship. Didn't I already do that? That said the objective was complete. I'm confused. Speaking of which, where is our starship, by the way? <laughs> what? Uh-oh. It didn't, like, make it go over the cliff, did it? Yeah. Where the hell is our ship at? Um... Houston? It is! It's <laughs> it's over the side of the cliff! Damn it! There... <laughs> You stupid game! Okay, here's what we gotta do. <laughs> That's funny. We we have got to get a, a landing pad. Because this is not the first time that's happened to me. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here, and we're gonna go here. No, not the not the freighter. Whoa. I can't call him down to the planet, can I? This guy. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow, that did summon the ship there. Is he actually in the atmosphere? He can't be in the atmosphere. Or can he? That is weird, man. We gotta fly over there and check that out. <laughs> I thought they could only stay in space. Maybe it is in space. Maybe it's just right beyond, you know, the limit. But he sure looks like he's in the Atmo, doesn't he? We gotta check that out, you guys. We gotta check that out. Let's do it. Okay. Okay, no, I think he's... I think he's just right above. But man, it sure looked like he was in, in the atmosphere, didn't he? He just about is. Man, this thing is huge. Not as big as the ship that I have, though, in my... in my single-player, or my multiplayer playthrough. That ship is enormous. That's like Star Destroyer enormous. Huh. Okay. Yeah, that was... He's, like, so close, though. That is cool. All right, let's go back down. I need to get that other base thing picked back up, because it's messing with what my real base is. Let, in fact, let's do that. Let's go down here and, and, and remove this. This was just the first one that I put down to mark it, you know? Mark the position. don't need this base computer here. Delete. Oh, did it pick up the beacon too? The, the beacon marker is still there, but I don't see the actual machine. Hold on a sec. <laughs> hmm, that was weird. Okay, life support power is low. Let's fix that. No, not the build menu. We need the quick menu. We gotta go here, we gotta go here, we gotta go here. Boom. Fixed. Okay. Okay, let's go home. And we gotta go talk to our, our overseer. That is so cool looking though. <laughs> Look at that ship, man. It's just like friggin' awe-inspiring. I mean, if you think about the size of that ship in relation to, you know, the size of the planet. The scale of the whole thing. I don't know, maybe, maybe you guys can't really see it the way I see it because I'm in VR, but it's pretty cool. I don't know whether to call him Gariki or Common, but man, I'm sure glad you're here, buddy. Common, welcome to the stream, man. It's good to see you. Hope you're having a good day, man. Hope you're having a good day. Okay. So. You whoop. 
You know what I think we need to do, guys? I think we need to try and fast track a, a landing pad so we don't have that problem anymore. Because that's the second time in a row that I've teleported back to the base from the station and my ship was like over the side of the cliff. <laughs> um, so we need to look into that. And I'm probably going to have to go... I'm probably going to have to go to um, the anomaly and buy that with some modules. Let's, uh, cause yeah, I don't think I can get that from this, from this one here anyway. Let's just look at it real quick. This is just like really basic stuff here. Uh, buildable technology. Yeah, see, that's all. That's all this gives us. A couple of you know some basic building things, and then these basic machines. So we're gonna have to get that from the anomaly. Now, if we follow the base quest long enough, we might get it automatically, but. I don't know how long that's going to take, and I really kind of would like to have a landing pad now. So, okay. What are we what are we doing quest-wise? Let's go say hi to our overseer. And we're also we also have a power issue that we got to figure out. Cuz I would have thought for sure that the base would have had plenty of stored power overnight with the equipment that I have down, but that doesn't appear to be the case. Beep. Hi buddy. Rufio, what's up, bud? Let's talk to Rufio. Welcome to your new home. You have so much to learn, so much to see, and this place will be our home amidst the infinite. Take this glass and let starlight flood into our jolly home. Okay. Okay, yep, glass, shatterproof. Can be cra crafted from frost crystals. Um, they need to upgrade that because you can craft glass from from silicate so yeah I think uh, th I think they need to update that maybe you can also still use frost crystals too but now now you can use silicate so weird okay you you like that okay cool uh-huh yep mm-hmm yep mm -hmm. everything pours through glass in the end but there's time enough for that there are other things too we have to do if you prepare chromatic metal, I will use it to calibrate a science terminal suitable for a Corvax entity. The Corvax have suffered terribly at the hands of my people. Be kind to them, I beg of you. The overseer asked me to gather chromatic metal in preparation for the recruitment of a Corvax scientist. Let's do this. Merchant Rufio is already making themselves useful. A science terminal, a new Corvax guest, and all for just a handful of chromatic metal. All right. Um, so do we have chromatic metal in our inventory? I think we do. I think we got a whole bunch of it, in fact. Uh, let's look in our cargo. Yeah, well, I've got, yeah, I've got 135. How much does he want? Collect chromatic metal for the overseer. Does it tell us how much he wants? It does not tell us how much he wants. All right, let's see if we have enough. Um, we might need this. Do we need this in our own inventory? Well, no, we do have it in our own inventory. It's just in our cargo slot. 135. Okay, let's see if that's enough. There you are again, Traveler. I am sure you have the required materials this time. What do you mean this time? What are you talking about? The overseer speaks strangely, implying that we have performed this encounter before. I have no memory of such meetings. Yeah, right, exactly. I ask who paid them for the service they are that they are performing for me. They laugh and claim that my child did many years from now. Okay, that clears things up. <laughs> I don't know what they I don't know what they're talking about. I really don't. The overseer asked me for the chromatic metal. Give the chromatic metal. Perfect, friend. I knew you would succeed. Just what I need to finish the science terminal plans. New building part learned, science terminal. 40 chromatic metal and 25 magnetized ferrite. Okay. Blueprint recorded to the catalog. We have litter the universe in our greed, Traveler. This planet is no exception, but there is much that can be done with litter. Make your way to an abandoned structure and harvest the data from their terminals. I shall use it to fashion us plans for a storage container. Oh, that's why I can't build the other storage containers, because I don't actually... Well, I learned I learned one storage container and the anomaly. I learned the zero storage container. 
This will help me learn all the rest. That explains it. Okay. Merchant Rufio is reflective for a geck. They almost seem to regret the greed that characterizes their people. They wish to make something new from the remains of the old. Is this just greed in disguise or something else? I don't know. Whatever their motive, the overseer claims I will find data for a storage container blueprint in a nearby structure. Let's do it. Uh, you won't regret it, friend. I've marked you a site that seems to be ripe for exploitation. Okay. Thanks, Rufio. Buddy. Okay, so we have two things that we need to do. We need to research... Uh, or, or no, we need to build a science terminal, hire a Corvax for that science terminal, and then we got to go find that spot that Rufio just told us about, and then that'll help us learn the storage containers, okay? So that's what we're going to do now. Uh, build the science terminal. Can I build terminals in here? Because I know the round rooms, I think, only allow one. Let's see what happens here. So specialist... Terminals, science terminal. I can, look at that, it's a beautiful thing. Boom, science terminal is built. I have got to log in in normal mode and change the name of my my base. Toxiter's Outpost is a sucky name, I'm just saying. I hate that name. It makes it sound like I'm, you know, making illegal chemicals or something in my base. Toxiter's Outpost. Okay, so we, <laughs> so we got the science terminal. Um, do we have to activate it to, for it to tell us to go find a Corvax, dude? Okay. Yes, we do. Nice. All right, so I will go... I'll go to that base and get the plans for the storage so that we can do full storage. I'll be back, right back, Rufio. Make yourself home. Uh, you, I would tell you to make popcorn in the kitchen, except for I haven't actually finished the kitchen yet. So, you know, hopefully you got food on your own for now. All right, let's go. Your big ship is taking up, like, the parking spaces of 12 fleets. <laughs> I, I know, isn't that awesome? It's, like, just ginormous up in the sky there. Uh, all right, how do I get out of my base? Um, we need to go this way. Okay, let's go... Let's go, um to that outpost that Rufio wants us to go to so we can learn the rest of our storage containers. Part of the problem I have, you guys, too, is that I have, I've got a multiplayer playthrough going on at the same time, and, you know, so in some ways I'm a little further along in the multiplayer than I am in the single player, so I just get a little confused about which, you know, where I'm actually at between the two. And also, I'm old guy and I have old guy moments, as Carmen will attest to, so there's that too. Okay, whoa! Holy crap, man! It's storming out here! Okay, so where is this place that Rufio wants us to go to? I think I need to change my my quest uh, log over. So... Search an abandoned building for data. Yeah, that's the one we want. Okay. That's our... Whoa. Okay, so we're looking for the green thing. There we go. That's what we're after. Alright, how far away is that? It's not telling me how far away it is, so... Let's go up into space so we can pulse to it. I've got hailstones or something hitting the hull of my ship. That's what all that knocking is. Oh, we're, it's it's not that far at all. Never mind. Do we not have a landing pad? I guess not. Was a weird place for you to pick the land ship. Okay, well, I guess we will wait out to the storm. There's critters swimming around down there. And then we will go get the thing from the base when the storm's done. So I will be back when the storm has abated. 
All right, guys, the storm is done. Let's hop on out of here. Whoa, right on top of a shark. Are you a shark? No, you're a bladagoo, and you swim on the land. That's very impressive, bladagoo. Whoa, and then you also vanish, too. Okay, let's put that thing away. So, uh, we need to go in here. Oh, this is one of those alien egg places. Alright, sometimes there's thing madoodles on the ceiling that'll come down and whack you in the face. Sodium. Projectile ammunition. Damaged machinery. What do you need? You Whatever you needed, I had it. Nanites. We like nanites. Who doesn't like nanites? Exosuit is at maximum health. Okay. You know what, too? I forgot to install that module that the, that the quest gave us. So we need to do that. But let's let's get this going here first. What? User identified. Terminal active. Ac accessing schematics. The, p the place the Overseer has led me to has long since fallen into disrepair. Its panels are buried beneath the same oily pulsating fauna that I have seen before in long abandoned buildings. I was supposed to be able to clean that off, but it kind of just skipped the screen, so I don't know what the hell's up with that. Uh, the air is fetid and damp. I power up the terminal with little hope of success, but to my surprise, it buzzes noisily and springs to life. Analyze schematics. My overseer's, in overseer's intuition has served me well so far. I shall have to trust that these schematics contain the required data. All right, so um, what do we get? We should have gotten plans for all the storage containers. You know another thing that doesn't make sense, though? It's like... It, there's something a little bit incongruous here, because I was able to build all of the storage units on my freighter, even though I didn't know how to do that. I don't know, that's weird, man. I'm confused. Well, hopefully we can make them all now. Anything nasty on the ceiling gonna come and bite me? Ion battery... That's not a... that's not a thing. Oh, here we go. We should be able to learn a word from this. Or not. Oh, man! Isn't this one of those, like, galactic encyclopedia thingies? Apparently it doesn't work. Maybe the aliens hacked it or something. I can't get to that. There we go. Hey, you get out of here. You're not supposed to be in here. Okay, let's go. I'm not going to mess with those eggs. We don't really need to anyway. Uh, we farmed up our nanites when we farmed up our money. Um, I have over over 5,000 nanites. <laughs> so that's pretty good. That's a pretty good collection of nanites. Okay, so we got to return to the Overseer for that. I thought we... Coal creatures. Oh, this must be... That must be new quest that I took, because I already turned all the original ones in. Now, let's uh, also go here. And we want to go to Exosuit. And we got this life support module. So, everything in here is completely filled up. Hazard protection. Uh, oh, you know what, though? We don't want that anyway. We want, we want this over here. So, okay, let's see. We want to put it next to these guys. So I guess we move this out of the way and we install this here. Excellent. Okay, what does that do for us? It gives us 10% more on the life support tanks. Okay, I'll take that. That doesn't suck. That doesn't suck at all. Looks like I need to do a little bit of inventory management, too, but we'll do that later. Okay, let's go. So back to our overseer buddy. Back to Rufio. 
Oh yeah, that was just a hot skip and a jump away. I couldn't really tell though because of the, you know, the storm. Woo! Look at that big old ship just sitting up there, taking up 20 parking spots, right, Common? All right, let's go talk to Homeboy. Also known as Rufio. And we could probably just go this way. What's up, dude? You are back. I'm so glad, friend. I will extract the storage blueprint as soon as I have the data. It's good to see the Gek is so invested in the success of our home. They are clearly happy to see me, energized for the task at hand. Give them the data. Here is your blueprint, as promised. A trivial task. Their code was just sitting there to be manipulated. Okay, thanks, man. Storage container one. Is, do, do I know like two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine as well? I hope so. Oh yeah, there we go. <laughs> I'm going, you better, damn it. Eight and nine. Nine. There we go. All good. Nasty storm. Look for red and green dots. And that was okay. Oh. Now then. Do you think, friend, that we should put that science terminal to use? Fill our home with the clicksing lights of the Corvax. It would be so lovely. Sure. The overseer feels the base would benefit from a Corvax scientist. They would like to see good use made out of the blueprint they worked so hard on. I agree. I'm so glad we had this chat, friend. Okay. Thank you, Rufio. So we've already built the science terminal. We just need to find the science dude to go on the science terminal. All right, let's go up here. Looks. Like, I'm glad to see my ladder's finally working too, because when I first put that in, it wouldn't work. It's like really weird. Uh. All right. So moving along, guys. Moving along here. So what I want to do. Hmm. I wonder if we just keep going with the quest, if we'll eventually learn the landing pad, or if I should just go buy it. We'd have to farm up a few modules, because I don't think I have any uh, tech modules on me to speak of. Those are navigation data modules, so yeah, we'd have to go farm up some modules, which we could do. Wouldn't be that hard to do that. Let's see if we can get the rest of our storage in place first, though. Because I already cleared this spot for it. I just... it wasn't letting me make the other ones. We also have power now to... Why aren't these open? Oh, because is the sun just now going down? All right. So these are, this is at 28%. I'm assuming these are all even. Yeah, 28%. Okay, so it might just be... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if there's enough batteries here to keep the whole base powered until the sun comes up the next day. So if if that's the case, then we're going to have to, you know, expand our power grid, which we can do later. Uh, but let's just leave it the way it is for now. And we'll see how things go. Name of the game: Build more storage. Let's do it. Um, build menu, tech, storage. There we go. That's what we've been waiting for. Okay, so let's pop number one into there. We'll pop number two into there. Number three can go there. Four can go there. Five can go there. Six. Seven. Eight. And nine. There we go. Look at that, you guys. Look at that. A big old wall of storage. It's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing. All right, we got to get the wiring hooked up now. So let's go into here. 
Uh, we want to go into tech. We want to go into to, to power, power and wire. Okay, so we'll just okay. That's coming off of a node there. Yeah, you know what? Let's just let's just keep that in place. So I think the way we'll do this is we'll go here to here and we'll just run these across like this. And we'll do the same thing over here. I have to tell you, the base building in this game is a hell of a lot of fun. It really is. They've done a, a really amazing job. And I, you know, I've, I'm, I have a long ways to go, too. I mean, there's a lot more stuff that I need to learn, you know, blueprints and that sort of thing. So I haven't even gotten to what you might call the end game with it, but I'm just really enjoying it. It's so cool. Okay, so now we've got active storage. Now, all of these should, I think, do they, aren't, don't these coincide with my freighter storage? Yes, okay, because that's stuff that's on my freighter. That's good and it's bad. It's good because I can access it now from here, and I don't have to be on the freighter. It's bad because we don't have twice the storage space, but I guess that's just the way the game's designed. So we can work with that. You know what would be cool is if there was some way, some mechanism in the game to where, you know, you could earn more storage. Why can't I get to those up there? There we go. So we do have some space available. Yeah, wiring looms in there. I've been collecting, you know, some of the stuff that you need for upgrades. A bunch of navigation modules that I picked up when we did our grind uh, to one billion. Processors, cobalt mares. Okay, good enough. Good enough. Yeah, but it would be neat, you know, if there was some way you could. Uh, go on a quest or do something to earn more storage space and maybe, I don't know, maybe that'll happen in the future. Not sure. That looks pretty cool though. Alright. Now, I'm just curious how much power do we have left? We have about 16 minutes. That says only 3% though. Time until drain. Why is that counting up and not down? Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, see, that's going down because that's re that's our total power. Okay, it just hit zero there. So I'm thinking we might need to add some more batteries and or solar solar panels. Yep, we just lost power there. So we can't. We don't have enough power grid to keep the whole base up and running all for an entire night. All right, guys. Well, I think we're out of time here uh, for this episode. So what I'm going to do is... What am I going to do? I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to farm some tech modules off camera so that I can buy the landing pad. And when we come back in the next episode, we'll set the landing pad down, and we'll, we're going to have to we're going to have to expand our power grid here because obviously we don't have enough uh, to support the base, which is a little concerning, you know, because we don't even really have that much going on yet. I mean, you know, we've got the buildings themselves in place, but we don't, you know, we don't have equipment or anything set up. So I don't know, but we'll make it work. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. So thanks, guys, for watching. Hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel, share out the video, and leave a comment. All those things help the channel, and I appreciate it greatly. And we'll see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.